World Famous Cheeseburger is not just a nickname, it is absolute truth. This man, World Famous CB, has traveled internationally and is universally beloved. He is huge in Japan. The number one way for me to know that you are not a great person is if you have a bad word to say about CB. Oh, you can't have a bad word to say about CB. This guy's awesome. Gentlemen, do we have any final words for our opponent? For those of you who don't know, this man has trained me to be a professional wrestler. Ever since that right. this is my trainer right here. Tonight, the student surpasses the master. Oh, really? Tonight, the student surpasses the master, huh? You're going to have to kill me to do it. Okay. Well, very clear story to this one. It's student versus teacher. We've seen a number of students of world famous cheeseburgers on the show already. Ryan Mooney, Damaris Dawkins, and now Eli Isom. I'm gonna tell you here, Eli Isom might be getting in over his head here. His opponent is a world traveled competitor. His opponent taught him everything he knows, but maybe, just maybe, not everything that he knows. Cheeseburger, the number two seed overall, just behind Rhett Titus. Eli Isom, the number six seed overall. Rhett Titus standing at four points so far in this division. We're going to see one of these two men is going to end up on the stand leaderboard. We'll see where they stand. And this match... With a 20-minute time limit is officially underway. Uh, looks like the code of honor is being followed there. Handshake. And we see Cheeseburger made the mistake of turning around, and Eli Isom immediately went for it. Number one, don't turn your back against your opponent. You do have to wonder if Cheeseburger may be underestimating Eli Isom, considering him still to be a student, when Eli Isom is a division roster member an equal here to cb in the eyes of fight and prince nana i mean he's got to be underestimating him a little bit it, it is his student so he hasn't taught him everything that maybe cheeseburger knows but eli isom a well-seasoned professional wrestler even at his young age he's got the size advantage he's got the strength advantage though cb by far with the experience advantage that experience not just measured in years in the ring, but also the high profile matches and situations that CB has found himself in. Yes. And the one thing that I like that I am seeing here out of Fight Pro Wrestling, you're not seeing you're you're not seeing an aging veteran coming in here past his prime trying to make a name for himself or trying to hang on. You're seeing finely conditioned athletes from the very top of the business to the bottom of the business coming in here and proving their worth. Here tonight. Top level talent, well conditioned athletes of all different shapes and sizes. And what links them is their desire to compete. As CB right now putting on a clinic here in the middle of the ring, and I expect no less. These two both very technical. Because Eli has more power, I accept maybe to see more strikes and slams out of Eli Isom. Cheeseburger, almost always as a size disadvantage, has learned how to just uh, apply it hold after hold. And Isom going right for the leg. No feeling out process needed. These two know each other very, very well. Cheeseburger, widely regarded as one of the finest trainers of the next generation currently on the scene. Yes, I have yet to see... I have yet to see a bad student come out of uh, Cheeseburger's Academy. Like, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But the standout, I think, has been Eli Isom. A lot of great people. We've seen other people on this card. But Eli Isom, many has felt to be the protege of Cheeseburger. These two have teamed many times as part of the Shinobi Shadow Squad together and with Ryan Mooney, but there are no friends 
Well, I mean, there's friends, but there is no allies here in the hybrid division. It's every man for themselves. Ah, a little bit of a test of strength here. Cheeseburger, a flashier wrestler than most, very intentional, almost a magician in the ring. He moves your attention one way so we can strike another. He is a fantastic master of misdirection, is Cheeseburger. And Cheeseburger taking the advantage, has like a straight jacket uh, headlock there, it looks like. That is reversed. You can be successful at pro wrestling with any body size, with any body shape, but how much harder do you think CB has had to work over his career to be this good and to achieve this level of success at this size? You have to have incredible work ethic um, for somebody his size to succeed like he has in professional wrestling. No doubt about that. Uh, like, I've known this guy since he started wrestling, since he was still a trainee under Delirious. Uh, he was a, he was one of the smaller he was one of the smaller wrestlers back in the day, and he's had to work, scratch, claw, and prove his medal the hard way to get where he is. Delirious in our main event, one of our two premier contenders, along with Tony Deppin, and Delirious casts a long shadow over many members of the Fight Pro Wrestling roster. Headlock applied by world famous CB. All right, working back up to what's going to happen here. Headlock takeover and CB with the tenacity that has kept him at the upper level of the independent professional wrestling scene for so many years. And here we see Kufsevix. Surprised him with that. I was about to question why he was releasing the headlock, and then uh, there you have it. Ice him. Able to counter though as these two go and hold for hold. You can see uh, you can see the mutual respect here between these two competitors. You can also watch them adjusting their game plan mid match, getting a sense of okay, if Burger's going to do this, I got to do that. If Ison's going to do this, I got to move left. This is a game of chess more than any other match we have seen so far here at Enter the Fight Round 1. <laughs> I mean this in the nicest way possible. Cheeseburger wriggled like a dying fish out of that hole. <laughs> and it was impressive to watch. Uh, playing a little trick on the uh, student there. The magician. The master of misdirection. The Flash and the Substance, the world-famous CB. But uh, you can't question the fundamentals of Eli Isom right now with that arm ringer. Yeah. Uh, Eli Isom with the full arm dragon twist applied here. See, look, CB just distracting Isom. Wave of the hand, wow. a cartwheel. It, none of it's frivolous. It's all so carefully calculated. You can tell he's going to play a mind games with a student here. Eli Isom coming back in with that sunset flip. Got the arms tracked. That technique was perfect. Oh, beautiful arm drag. So far, neither man has required a violation, intentional or unintentional. Look Important good. to remember that a rope break does count as a violation. So there are limited really? rope breaks. Yes, similar to pure rules. Interesting. So there's limited rope breaks, a lot of stakes. Holds mean a lot here at Fight Pro Wrestling. Beautiful armbar here applied. Look at that. Cheeseburger finding a way out of that. But only for a moment. Looks like Eli Isom starting to become a bit inured to the tricks of his mentor. And now really making Cheeseburger work out of the hole instead of being able to squirm his way. Underneath. Up high. Down oh. low. Too slow. Oh. <laughs> it's like a just... matador playing with a bull. <laughs> Cheeseburger just having fun here. And now uh, starting to have fun at the expense of Eli Isom climbing the mountain. I was about to say, this is not, I know what's coming. This is not about to be a fun time. Yeah. 
steal a line from South Park. If you're going to take, uh, if you're going to try to keep up with Cheeseburger, you're Ooh. going to have a bad time. Particularly now, he just snapped Isom's left arm. It looks like it went limp immediately. I'm wondering if Isom is be able to get feeling back in that arm. Yeah, he better get feeling pretty quick because uh, Cheeseburger is not going to let that slip. Cheeseburger having fun, but certainly not taking it easy on Ugh, Eli Isom. Well, the Rana didn't work out there. No, Isom able to power out, and that's the thing. No matter what, Cheeseburger is not going to be able to match power against Eli Isom, who has all of the raw talent of anyone I have seen in my years of professional wrestling. And Eli Isom there with that modified exploder. We're getting into Ooh. deep water right now here in this match. And the chops are getting served. It's going to become a real question of cardio. Who has the better conditioning here? And that really can six to one, half a dozen. Look at that balance. Cheeseburger perched on the top. Oh, what are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Using the ropes to his advantage. Five seconds. And uh, gave him an infraction. Yes, you have five seconds when you are in the ropes. Cheeseburger held on past five, so that is the first violation to Cheeseburger. That is a warning. And see, Isom thought he was going to get a rest there. Cheeseburger just came down and stomped him right in the back of the head. You wanted to talk about being strategic, though. That extra damage makes a lot of difference. We've been seeing. Yeah, gave, Cheeseburger. Che gave Cheeseburger the space there. Uh, go ahead, take a rest, and get an advantage. And he's been really focusing on that arm, has Cheeseburger, and gaining a lot of the advantage, that range in the strikes that Isom has. Cheeseburger has been very, very precise in the strategy against Isom in particular. Pinfall. You saw Cheeseburger put the pressure down on that arm specifically, not just on the shoulder, but on that injured arm. Yeah. Work on that arm yet again. Oh, I know that hurt. I've been in that hold before. It's not fun. Bending your wrist back like that. Every single way that the arm wasn't meant to bend, Cheeseburger is introducing Eli Isom to all of them. Someone better be preparing an ice bath yeah. for this young man it backstage. Comes, I was about to say, when it comes to arm submissions, Cheeseburger's a surgeon. Isom showing that to be successful in this match, he's going to have to be able to use both limbs equally oh. and Taguri. You want to talk about the stiffest kick in wrestling, the Inseguri kick. I think the real story here is that even on offense, though, that limb, that limb may be fully or partially out of commission on Eli Isom. I don't know how long he can keep going. We're already 10 minutes into this match. Swing slam, and Isom deep hook. You notice he didn't pick him up with the left arm there. I don't think he can. And he, you know Cheeseburger knows it. No, yeah, Cheeseburger definitely knows it. Like a shark smelling blood in the water. That kid in the crowd knows it too. This is the best that Eli Isom has looked, but unfortunately not able to capitalize on that momentum due to the pain. How difficult is it? You're a former competitor when you have an injury developing in mid-match, both because of the pain and also the fear of maybe the long-term damage. What does that do to your focus? What does that do to your ability in the ring? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The first, when you experience an injury in the ring, the first thing you're going to try to do is try to hide it as much as you can. But the minute, the minute your opponent starts to smell blood in the water, so to speak, it's going to be a bad time. You better find it within you. You better find it within you to... Do that right now. Eli Isom going for the win. You got to find it within you to just uh, just withstand the pain, number one. Find it within you to kind of uh, protect that injury, so to speak, and maybe even go out and give the receipt, injure your opponent back. Tremendous fortitude and resilience on display by Eli Isom, who is very clearly hurting and yet still maintaining the grip. We have seen Rhett Titus get on the board. 
First member of the hybrid division scoring four points with the knockout. One of these two. Notice, no, notice how the grip there. He doesn't have his hands locked together. He's basically holding his other arm. He, Tyson not able to maintain the hold on Cheeseburger, exactly like what you were saying. At this point, it just Ooh. seems like a matter of Cheeseburger can keep this match going long enough. He will eventually find a way around Isom, and Isom needs to end it quick. Yes, Isom really needs to end this match up because I can tell you, if Cheeseburger gets a hold of that arm and gets a significant submission on it, it's over. In this moment, Isom is definitely playing offense, or playing, yeah, playing offense as defense. Got to do everything in his power to keep Cheeseburger off of that arm. Yeah, because I can tell you, it's not going to be a wear down hold on that arm. He, Cheeseburger is going to go in to shut that arm down completely. Everything changed when Cheeseburger snapped that arm with his legs. He was playing fun and games. Uh, and you can see the suplex. Uh, he was trying to go for the suplex there. Not as effective. Cheeseburger was able to block it a little bit easier. Cheeseburger lowering down that center of gravity, trying to make it as difficult as possible for Isom, who just powered oh. Cheeseburger up. And that power, <laughs> like uh, Isom even picking him up halfway was impressive. As they would say on the USS Enterprise, Cheeseburger managed to reverse the polarity and turn that suplex back on his student. A lot of pride on the line for Eli Isom, who explicitly told Cheeseburger today is the day that the student surpasses the master. I don't think Cheeseburger is ready to be put out to pasture. What does that got to do for Eli uh, Eli Isom's confidence if he beats his uh, if he beats his mentor tonight? Confidence through the roof. I truly think that Eli Isom has all the opportunity in the world to potentially become the first fight champion, and it all starts. Tonight, if he is able to defeat CB. Cheeseburger almost had that arm. Oh. Half and half, and angled it so that Eli Isom would land on that arm and shoulder. Friggin' great strategy by CB in this match. Yes, Isom was, uh, Isom was so busy protecting his arm. That he forgot. Only five minutes <laughs> left, and you hear CB heard that, and CB knows. CB, I mean, yeah, CB knows he's he he's got to wrap this up now. Well, because CB has a violation. It's very unlikely, but if this were to go to a time limit draw, if there is a disparity in violations, the competitor who has fewer violations gets the victory. It's only a draw if all other things are equal. So there's a lot of math, basically, that these competitors have to keep in mind as the clock is ticking. Look at that power! Air raid crash by Isom! Now here, yeah, and, and what, from what you were saying right there, Eli Isom, too. Eli Isom could basically run the clock down, so to speak. A typical move you would see in the NFL. He could run the clock down here and get that victory. I don't think that that's in Eli Isom's mind, whether because it's not his strategy or just that's hard to keep track of when you're mid-match, but it's got to be on Cheeseburger's mind at this point as we've got less than five minutes remaining on the clock. Now, would you say because of that that Eli Isom has the advantage for the first time in the matchup? I think so. I think at this point, the longer it goes, now it's changed. Eli is at the advantage but anything can change the second the burger gets that arm in his grips again. As you see, that kick directly to the arm. This has been absolutely incredible. This is one of the best matchups of the night right here. These two, given everything they've got here at the very first event of Fight Pro, and Cheeseburger almost got Eli Isom. Oh, man. Shote! That was one hell of a strike right there. And I believe that Berger just received another violation due to that strike right to the head. I'd be, if I were if I were him right now, I'd be going straight for the knockout. I think he is going for the pin right now. And somehow, Isom gets out. Cheeseburger desperately needs to knock this guy out right now. Cheeseburger still has two violations. 
But if he receives two more violations, he will immediately forfeit this match. Has to be so incredibly careful. He was gifted that strike, that shote, by none other than his legendary mentor, Jushin Thunder Liger himself. And now these two just slapping each other. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Burger, that's your oh. student! That's your friend! This has gotten really personal. My elbow hurts watching that. The Maestral is reversed! Two. two minutes Only two minutes Two minutes. Remain. We're can... down to the two minute warning. And these two trying to pin each other quicker than we can possibly count. It's only gonna take three seconds for one man to win. Jack Knight. Somehow, some way, Ice is able to bridge up and now pushing Burger down. This is crazy, Mike. My God. Like, I'm, my elbow still hurts from watching that earlier. Backbreaker by Eli Isom. Isom bringing the power. Knocking Cheeseburger into next week. Back to the future, indeed. Yeah, and he definitely flew about 88 miles an hour on that, <laughs> on that lariat. Both these guys need time to recover. But they don't have the time. We're at 60 seconds. For 60 seconds. We could be looking at a double count out though. One minute remains. And there is that 60 second mark you were just talking about. We are down to crunch time. Cheeseburger, you have got to knock this guy out if you want to get this victory. One minute left. Less than 60 seconds on the clock. And all of the pressure is on world famous CB at this point. And you can tell Isom is getting tired there. CB has desperately, desperately got to make something happen here. 30 Only 30 seconds. 30 seconds remain. Go for a superplex. This could end it. And Isom. Oh. Isom's got CB middle of the ring. We're on to the final 10 seconds. CB. And we have a time limit draw. This is a draw, time limit draw. Both wrestlers will get one Is it though? Each. Well, technically it is a time limit draw. The way things work is that both CB and Isom will receive one point, but then Isom will receive an extra point for the split decision for having less violations. So CB will get one point, Isom will get two.